It seems like gaming just keeps getting uglier and uglier. It's an unavoidable force and Sweet Baby Inc. is leading the charge, especially with a new game coming out called Unknown 9 Awakening, another darling for Sweet Baby Inc. where they have dominant control over the narrative structure of this new game coming out under a developer that is under the heavy influence of Sweet Baby Inc. and these DEI consultancy firms that are more focused on pushing progressive agendas rather than making games that are more catered to the game player base. And I think this is what we see with Unknown 9 where we're getting a game that is so highly focused on the modern day tropes that have filled up gaming design for the past 10 years that it's unavoidable to look at this game and just see DEI written all over it. You see the diverse racial stereotypes, you see the diverse gender stereotypes, you see the body positivity you see everything that is promoted by these political progressive activists on display with this game and i think that's the thing we see initially now when we see new games coming out from any developer we look at it and see if it has all the hallmarks of political activism and it's unfortunate that's the case because we always had diverse games coming out and no one really batted an eye until the people that never play games actually started developing games and they just thought every game developer was racist when we've been seeing highly diverse games for over 20 to 30 years now so it's just the people that are new to gaming that want to grab hold of gaming and make it into an activist conquest are perceiving gaming as absolutely racist and making games that are bottom tier because of that. And I think Unknown 9 is another addition to that long list of games that are out there trying to promote their political activism rather than making a good game and that is a central thing when you look at the mechanics of the game the movement of the game and especially the 3d rendering of some of the models for this game specifically Anya Charlotta who's supposed to be the lead character in the game rendered into the game and a lot of people have a controversy around this actress themselves but I think specifically if you look at the actress and compare it to the 3d render model that we're seeing in the game you see the stark difference between the actor and the 3d render model you can see that comparison right here where people from her home country saying is this really the same actress she doesn't even look the same and I think you make a comparison with the actress and her headshot you kind of don't see the resemblance between them I think if you look at other pictures you may see some similar re resemblance with the jawline but when you look at the 3d render the art surrounding the characters like okay it looks like they intentionally tried to make a character that didn't look exactly like the model themselves and I think this is the situation we're stuck in in the video gaming industry right nowadays where we get horrible 3d renders of actors that usually look good outside of the 3d rendering and I think this is kind of a, a gender bias approach as well because you see many male actors get an exact interpretation of their 3d rendered models and you see this on display consistently throughout the video game industry where a lot of male actors get a exact interpretation of their likeness and it's kind of a crazy thing to see here where we get this misguided look at a lot of these female characters because the developers themselves have a disrespect for the female form and aesthetics and they want to move away from that because they feel like it's a detriment to what their overall vision and activism is trying to push which is body positivity and anything that is unlike anything we perceive as a beautifying standard and I think this is the thing that we're seeing with a lot of the 3d renders of a lot of female characters where western developers tend to take these beautiful models and uglify them to fit what they perceive should be the beauty standards and what they perceive as a body positivity outlook on the standards of beauty across the world where they feel this is more attainable for people that are not as feminine or more masculine even having a lgbtq specializing the t identity and they feel like this is the thing that is more suitable and palatable for all the groups of people they are trying to represent and we see this play out time and time again in multiple platforms multiple video games that have multiple developers multiple games that come out where they're always consistently trying to masculinize and defeminize a lot of the female characters and you can see this play out in multitude of franchises you can compare it to the eastern developers where they accentuate the feminine features you get the opposite in the western game developers where they accentuate the masculinized features and they try to feminize the men within the gaming sphere and i think this is a situation we see all throughout with the comparisons between the east and west where we just get these rage filled uglified models that are deemed the top tier of graphical capabilities and we get the opposite in the eastern games development sphere where we get 
absolutely stunning and beautiful character models that are usually adapted and enhanced to reach a peak form and I think this is the antithesis of what's happening in the video gaming industry in the west where everything is focused on removing all feminine traits and making something more palatable to the political progressive activism and its focused goals on removing some stated differences between the genders and anything related to racial minorities and I think this is the situation that is kind of growing in the industry where we're consistently getting these uglified looks for these characters and I think it's playing out specifically with any company or any developer that is working with Sweet Baby Inc. Sweet Baby Inc. has been the ringleader so far with most of their models coming out with this uglified persona and we can see this with Spider-Man 2 and Mary Jane. We can see this with Kill the Justice League and we can see this with Unknown 9 being the latest entry from Sweet Baby Inc. A consultancy firm that is being much maligned within the industry nowadays where people are noticing that Sweet Baby Inc. is a detriment rather than then a lifeline for a developer where developers are now afraid to hire sweet baby ink and any employees associated with it you see this play out in the video gaming industry because that is what we're seeing where multiple games from sweet baby ink are consistently failing all throughout the industry and i think this is what we expected to see eventually once developers catch on where they can't make money and they're going to lose money and maybe have the bankruptcy of their entire studio lay on the hinge of them working with Sweet Baby Inc. And this is, of course, not going to detract the people that are steeped in the philosophy of Sweet Baby Inc. There are a lot of companies that will disregard uh, the controversies and just sink low with this consultancy firm. And I think this is the result of what we're seeing with Unknown 9. Unknown 9 is dedicated to the cause of Sweet Baby Inc. because it knows no better and it has the same philosophy. And it's going to play out in a similar way of what we saw of all of Sweet Baby Inc.'s failures, where gaming companies are losing everything due to their association. We just saw what killed the Justice League, a game that is highly unsuccessful upon its release. We see the same thing with Dustborn, another failure of a game that is barely reaching 10 people playing the game on steam and of course we have the infamous concord the 400 million dollar failure that is going to close down multiple studios with sony and lastly flintlock a game no one cared about because of course it has heavy association with sweet baby ink so people would even give it a chance because they don't want to be associated with sweet baby ink and its consultancy firms and its vision for the gaming future and this is playing out all in the same way throughout the industry as people realize they don't want to be associated with Sweet Baby Inc. and the subversion it's causing. I think ultimately what we're going to see with Unknown 9, a new game that is heavily steeped in the ideology of Sweet Baby Inc., we're going to see another failure. But that's just my thoughts on the situation. You tell me what you think about the situation. Gaming is getting uglier and Sweet Baby Inc. is failing because of it. But you leave your thoughts, like, comment, share, subscribe. This is Wagner Knows Why. Catch you next time.